we are approaching the uh, vertical descent phase two, which will have the lander module hovering at nearly 150 meters above the lunar surface. जी हाँ आप इस तालियों के गड़गड़ाहट को सुन सकते हैं जो कि सेकंड हाइवरी फेस के कंप्लीट होने के बाद इन सारे वैज्ञानिकों के द्वारा की जा रही है। जी हाँ आप अगर फिर से ध्यान से देखें तो अल्टीट्यूड पुनः कम होता जा रहा है अभी हम लोग लगभग लगभग 135 मीटर की ऊंचाई पे हैं। The sensors that are updating at this point are providing confirmation of the safety of the landing site. As expected, the retargeting is going on, and this is a very good signature for the lander. अभी आप ये देख सकते हैं कि लैंडर की ऊंचाई लगभग 65 मीटर के आसपास बची हुई है। Currently, only two engines are now being fired, and we are nearly at zero velocity, vertical and horizontal. We are we were hovering, and now we are approaching the moon surface. धीरे-धीरे लैंडर की वेगबान को कम किया जा रहा है और हम अब लगभग 50 मीटर से भी कम आ चुके हैं। We can see the Honourable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, who is here to encourage us, and he is critically looking at the visuals. जी हाँ, आप अपने स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि हम पाव लैंडर मॉड्यूल People are applauding. Land Let us Martin. all wait to hear from the Secretary Department of Space and Chairman ISRO, Sri S. Somnath. Lander module puri tarah se safely or softly chandrama ke satah pe land ho chuka hai. Ye hum logon ke liye bahut hi garv ki baat hai. Hindi mein ek kahawat hai ki chanda mama dur ke, lekin ab hum ye kah sakte hai ki chanda mama apne ghar ke. Bohati Unda, the hard work of the entire ISRO community has come to fruition. Adarniya Pradhan Mandri Ji, Namaskar. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Sir, I request, I request our Honourable Prime Minister to address us and bless us. Thank you, sir. मेरे प्यारे परिवार जनों, जब हम अपनी आँखों के सामने ऐसा इतिहास बनते हुए देखते हैं तो जीवन धन्य हो जाता है ऐसी ऐतिहासिक घटनाएं there we have it. India has done something that no other country has been able to do. Not the United States of America, not Russia, not China. They have successfully put a lander on the south pole of the moon. A massive moment uh, for the Indian Space Research Organisation as we uh, see uh, Narendra Modi uh, speaking to the mission control room uh, who he's been monitoring from the BRICS summit in South Africa. Uh, and a huge round of applause broke out, uh, huge cheers for when uh, the moment happens where India, the first ever nation to successfully land on the South Pole of the Moon. Well, Christopher uh, Consulis, uh, Professor of Extra Galactic Astronomy at the University of Manchester, has also been watching on. Um, first of all, Christopher, what do you make? How big a moment is this for space exploration? It's a huge moment. So all the congratulations to the Indian Space Agency for, for doing this. This is a remarkable thing. And uh, as you said, it's something that hasn't really been done before. 
Of course, other countries have been to the moon, but not to this location on the moon, where there's a lot of interesting science and a lot of interesting discoveries that could be made. And so mm -hmm. India should very much be applauded for this. Can you just explain uh, to us what sort of discoveries are they hoping to make here? I know there's been talk that there might be potentially frozen water in this part of the moon. What would that mean if they were to discover frozen water there? So there's a couple of things that are interesting about that. So if you have water, it has a lot of potentials for not only just science, but also for things about you know, colonizing the moon, for using the moon as a, as a resource, because water is very important, not just for, for life, but for, for doing any kind of activities. Uh, it could be very useful. So there's that. But also the this, this south, south end of the moon, the south pole of the moon is very, very dark and it's very cold. It's negative 240 Celsius, so it's very cold. And so it really kind of froze in the formation of the solar system at that time because not much has been happening at that part of the moon uh, since the moon was formed five billion years ago or so. And so if you can study the properties of the moon at that location, study what's in the ground, study what's in the atmosphere, study the seismic activity, that, that has happened and that is it is, is happening, then you can learn quite a bit about the formation of the, the moon, but also the formation of the entire solar system. And so since this location is, is so um, un, un, um, messed with, in a sense, then it has the, the secrets of, of the, the past. And so this is one of the main reasons why, why it's, it's, it's gone there. Mm. And what would it mean? I know there's been a lot of talk about uh, the missions to Mars uh, over the next uh, decade or so. What would it mean uh, for that? So the more we understand about the moon, the more we're going to understand about the solar system. And so Mars is obviously the next step in that process. And so if we can figure out something about the moon, about how its atmosphere works, about how its, its structure was formed, then we'll know a little bit more about perhaps how it has happened on Mars. And then when we go to Mars, we'll have much more information about what to expect and about what kind of things we might find there. And it all builds on each other. And so by knowing about the moon, we can learn about Mars and about in, and also the Earth in some ways, although the Earth is much more geologically active than the moon, of course. But we're just learning more and more about it, and it will tell us a lot more about Mars and what we can expect to find and what, what we might want to search for once we get to, to Mars to understand it even better. Mm. Now that the Vikram lander has, uh, has, has made it to the surface of the moon intact, um, you know, once the dust settles there, what is the next step? I understand there's a rover on board and that's going to be a big part about doing scientific uh, experiments and getting it back to, uh, back to Earth and finding out a little bit more. Can you just take us through the next, I guess, week or so, uh, what will be done there? Right. So uh, the timeline will depend somewhat on, on uh, tests and various uh, communications that 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 uh, the Indian Space Agency will do with with the, the lander and the rover. But once everything looks stable, then the rover will be dispatched and the experiments uh, uh, will occur. And uh, those will happen uh, for some time. I'm not exactly sure for how long those experiments will go on. Um, but I imagine it'll be for um, a bit of time. Mm. And I know the landing date has been very carefully selected to coincide with the start of a lunar day. Can you just explain to the layperson, like myself, uh, exactly what that entails and why that is so important? Right. So the the the, the lunar day is basically it's an equivalent to the way that we have a day, where basically the the, um, uh, uh, the moon goes around the Earth, which produces this, uh, this, this uh, 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 apparent day on the moon. And you, you want to be able to do things at certain Sorry points to interrupt, uh, Christopher. We're just going to listen into sure. Narendra Modi now. It's not just India's alone. This is a year in which the world is witnessing India's G20 presidency. Our approach of one earth, one family, one future is resonating across the globe. This human-centric approach that we present 
and that we represent had been welcomed universally. Our moon mission is also based on the same human-centric approach. Therefore, this success belongs to all of humanity and it will help moon missions by other countries in the future. I am confident that all countries in the world, including those from the global south, are capable of achieving such feats. We can all aspire for the moon and beyond. Mere parivar jano, Chandrayaan Mahabhyan ke yu plabdi, भारत की उड़ान को चंद्रमा की कक्षाओं से आगे जाएगी हम Okay, if you are just joining us, that is the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has been monitoring developments from the BRICS summit in South Africa uh, after the Indian Space Research Organization successfully, the first successful mission ever to land a uh, lunar lander on the South Pole.